I have here now is we're going to hook up a 220 right here going into the box and show you how it's going to be hooked up right in here. Okay? Usually a 220 will go into air conditioning, appliances like garbage disposal, dishwasher, um, a range, a refrigerator. Uh, that takes a direct run. 220 with different types of wire, either 212 or in this case right here we're using a 10, a 10-3. Okay, so it's coming in right in here into the box. Usually we need a little bit more room, so we use a bigger box. Don't forget your nailing right here within six inches. Inspectors like to see that. Okay, and that's pretty much about it, and we'll show you how it hooks up. What we're going to do here is we're going to show you how to hook up a 220. Uh, in this case here, it's going to be uh, for an electric uh, dryer using a 10-gauge wire, and this is going to be the plug that we're going to put in. Okay. First thing we want to do is keep in mind that the wire is coming in and you have your stapler there. We want to hook up our ground and we want to hook it up to the back of the box. Once it's hooked up, we bury it, and we start hooking up the rest of them. First thing I like to do is, I like to hook up my neutral. Where does my neutral go? At down here. Something that's different. Okay. We hook it up in the back right here, put it in here, and tighten it down. I peeled my wires already. Okay. Peel your wires. Watch like this. Okay. Put my neutral back here and I crank it down peel off only about a half an inch that's pretty pretty good right there and then I start doing my other ones what size do they go doesn't really matter they're both the same okay I put it in and crank it down Do my other side, put it in, crank it in. How much wire do you like to leave out of your box? I like to leave about six inches. Keep in mind that whatever room you have in here, you don't want to get too much. Otherwise, it's a, it's a, it makes it a little harder to put this wire and bend it in. Now all I do is just bend it in. that's where it's going to go. Usually I have a plate here, screw it on, and that's where it's going to be. Okay? Keep in mind, you must tie your ground first, okay? Then we get into the neutral and then do the other things. Always shut your main panel box before you do any kind of work, okay? And that will be a 220. Okay? What I like to do is, I like to tie my bare wires don't forget to wear your safety glasses in case you get poked in the eye. You'll have your glasses there. So what we'll do is we'll hook up our grounds first. And what we'll do is we'll hook up all of them up on one side and we'll put our neutrals on the other side. In this box, we have two spots. On some smaller boxes, you're only going to have one side panel. And, and what I'll do there is I'll hook up the grounds on one side and my neutrals on my lower side. So we're going to hook up this one here. We'll pick any spot, loosen it up a little bit, put it in, tighten it, and it's down. I try to bury them a little bit towards the back so it gives me room for my other wires in the front. After I do that one, I will hook up my neutrals right here on this side. I try to have my wires nice and straight. 
to show that uh, you got your box in order. So here, and I tie my breakers out out here, where I don't even bother anything in there. Once I have my breakers tied, then I can come to the panel box over here, slip it in, and my breakers on.